The virus first appeared in Ukraine. Every infected computer carried the same message. If you see this text, it said your files are no longer accessible because they've been encrypted. The message then demands payment to recover data. Kiev's international airport, the country's state energy provider and several major banks all reported problems with their computer systems. The country's security council is blaming Moscow. It's unprecedented cyber attack that Ukraine never have faced before. The cyber police received more than 200 reports about interferences in computers with uh, the damaging software. But in neighboring Russia, the state oil giant Rosneft said it too had been hacked. Elsewhere, the Danish shipping firm Maersk, the British ad agency WPP and a French construction firm are among a growing list of companies hit by the virus that's now believed to be heading to the United States. Experts are divided on the origin of the virus. Some say they've never seen it before, while others say the infection is a strain of ransomware called Petya, first identified last year. It's a very well-known piece of ransomware. Now, what's different about this current outbreak is the some of the uh, tactics used in the recent WannaCry attack, uh, basically being able to spread like a worm, has been incorporated into Petya, uh, meaning that it's, uh, it's very, very quickly spreading across the globe, infecting systems with this ransomware. The attacks reminiscent of last month's WannaCry virus that infected more than 200,000 computers in more than 150 countries. The virus caused major disruption to the UK's National Health Service before being stopped by a British security advisor. Cyber experts are now scrambling to understand the scope of this latest attack. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera.